It's time to care or to don't care. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. I don't think that's correct English, but you know what? Don't, know. don't care. My favorite part of this segment isn't that we might hear a crazy story in the news that we all care about or that we might learn something new and interesting. Yeah. My favorite part of care or don't care is that young Jeffrey does most of the work. Mm. Yeah. He finds the article, he leads the segment, and I just get to sit back and not do much at all. So you care. So I guess one thing I care about is being lazy, and yeah. I'm already exhausted. So Here Jeff, take it away. <laughs> I have a list of exciting buzz-related topics in my hand. Let's get to it with your first headline. A woman visited her local cemetery and stayed much longer than she expected. You won't believe what happened. Care or don't care? Did she die? Care. I care. Yeah. She stuck somewhere? What happened? A woman was visiting her parents' burial plot in New York City recently. When she got a scary surprise, she was fixing a wreath on her mom's headstone when suddenly... The ground beneath her gave way, and she <gasps> fell into her parents' oh, grave. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, no. Oh, That's, my God. The stunned woman cried out for help, but apparently no one in the graveyard could oh hear her God. screams, <laughs> and she was stuck there for quite a while until help finally arrived. Oh, my God. Turns out the grave next to her parents wasn't filled in properly, <gasps> which created a sinkhole. Oh, my God. To make matters <laughs> worse, when the ground gave way, she fell forward and smashed her head on her mom's tombstone, no. causing her to crack a tooth. No. Now she's suing the cemetery for five million dollars. Yeah, and she's like, hey, family, I thought you were visiting our parents and nobody's here to find me. <laughs> the woman told reporters, quote, getting sucked into your parents' grave when you go to visit them uh-huh. kind of ruins the experience. Yeah. Not going back to see mom and dad probably. They, they booby trapped it. Yeah. That's, that's what she says. She claims she never plans on going back to the uh, cemetery no. to visit them ever that's again. Fine. She can remember yeah. them in a different way. Safer ways. <laughs> Let's see if you guys care about this. Amazon Prime, Netflix, and now the latest subscription service you'll definitely be paying for. Care or don't care? God, I care because I hate paying for them. I don't care because I'm going to sign up for it whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll care. You'll care? Two sure. care. Two cares. The average American today subscribes to six to seven services per month. And there's services for almost everything now, from movies to groceries to endangered pets. But last week, Burger King jumped in, and they launched their own new subscription service. But it's not for hamburgers or fries or even their famous croissant, which is for $5 a month now, you can sign up to get one small cup of Burger King coffee a day. What? <laughs> Signing up for that, Jeff. That was a misleading headline. That is dumb. You said I was going to be signing up. No. <laughs> well, and to be clear, they don't deliver it to your door. You what? still have to go out to an actual Burger King to get your cup of Joe. What? So they're hoping you'll buy some other food with it too. Oh, come I, I, on. I didn't even know Burger King sold coffee. <laughs> One small coffee there usually costs about a buck, so you'd have to use it at least five times each uh-huh. month for it to be worth it. Okay. So if subscribing to Burger King coffee sounds like a good plan to you. Go ahead, sign up. Yeah, I'm kind of angry about your headlines. Yeah, so. me too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Misled. I was misled. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at Burger King. Okay, yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go to your next one. You heard about the college scandal that took down celebs. Well, this could be the next big one. Care or don't care? Ooh, care. I care. Yeah, I, like I care about that one. again, but I care. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Going to college now is so expensive, people are finding creative ways to pay for it, like scholarships and financial aid. Well, there's another method that's gaining popularity. Signing up for the website SeekingArrangement.com. Oh, sugar daddies? Yep, that's the dating site that connects sugar daddies Wait, with sugar babies. Hold up. How did Brooke know that off the get-go? Uh, hello. Are, I have no idea what that was. How did you I knew. make it through college? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty. No. So, yeah, the sugar babies are young people who need someone older to pay their tuition money for them. <laughs> And in these, arrangement, in these arrangements, intimacy is not required, but if there's an older adult who's looking for a companion and they're willing to shell out tens of thousands of dollars to pay for their school, this is the website they go to to do that. Dang. God. And they just released a list of the colleges and universities in America with the most sugar babies using the service. These are the top three. Number three is University of Alabama, which has over 700 sugar babies attending. Wow. Number two is University of Central Florida, close to 800. And number one, Georgia State. More than 1,300 students from that school have signed up to have an older person pay their tuition. I thought for sure it was going to be MIT. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's go to your next one. You've been lied to your entire life about something in your home, and now the truth has finally been revealed. Care or don't care? I care. I don't like being lied to. 
care. Brooke is defeated today. <laughs> so tricky. Yeah, sure. You got two cares. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious if you did. You haven't said much. Uh, sword ferns, fiddle leaf figs, the devil's ivy. Those are just some of the names of house plants that millions of Americans use to decorate their homes. They look nice. They smell nice. Mm -hmm. And they can help clean the air to protect your lungs. Yes. At least that's what you thought. Yes. Sorry to disappoint you, but a new study says the idea that house plants purify the air is just a bunch of garbage. What? what? Don't say that. I just got house plants. And it's my new thing. A lot of people think that they do because trees clean the air outside, so why wouldn't it work on a smaller scale inside your home? But the truth is, they really can't do enough to make the air quality any healthier. So you need to be living in a rainforest for it to make a difference, is what you're saying. Pretty much. Experts say the only way it would make a difference is if you filled every square inch of your home with plants and sealed all your windows and doors shut so no extra outside pollution could get in. Whoa. And even then, they say the difference would be so minimal, you might as well not have plants at all. Huh. Okay, well, you know what? They look good. They do. So the next time that you go out and buy some, you know, decorations, just get the plastic plants. They help with the air just as much as the real ones do. They don't die all the time. And no water needed. Yeah. And finally... Jeff's joke of the day, care or don't care? Care. Don't how, care. <laughs> how do poets say hello? How? Hey, haven't we metaphor? <laughs> <laughs> right, that was care or don't care. Text in at 78592. Do you know of a story out there that we should have cared about? Text it in. Your phone tap is coming up right after this. It's Brooke and Jewel in the morning.